Hello. Long time no see. I hope you're doing okay in the midst of everything. Here in the UK, we're very fortunate with our vaccine rollout. It's making a big difference, fingers crossed. And we've been opening up and getting out and about and meeting up with friends and family that we haven't seen for months and months. I I keep thinking about animals coming out of hibernation and poking their noses out and sniffing the air and getting excited at the prospect of going out into the world again. On the podcast front, I was aiming to have season six of the 21st Century Creative ready for you by now. I have started work on it and I'm doing something a bit different with this season, which I hope will make it more relevant and helpful to you in our current situation. So anyway, um, a few weeks ago, I was working away happily on season six when I was interrupted by some fantastic news. I received a letter from Arts Council England telling me I had been successful in the funding application I had made for the brand new podcast that I've been working on behind the scenes. And I really wasn't expecting to get this funding because I know it's always very competitive applying for public funding for the arts, particularly right now. So I am delighted and very grateful to Arts Council England for stepping up and supporting my new show. Obviously, the money is very helpful, but it's also been a real confidence booster, dare I say it, a real shot in the arm, to know that such an eminent funding body buys into my vision for the show and they want to support it. Now, after I got the award, I naively thought that I would be able to carry on and launch the new podcast at the same time as season six of the 21st Century Creative and come back with a real bang with both things at once, and and hopefully surprise and amaze you. Um, But it quickly became apparent that there was no way I could do both at once. The, The new show, if anything, is even more complicated to make than the current one. And I just you know, with all the design and music and, and branding and, and website and et cetera, et cetera, it, it it's just takes up too much bandwidth. And I couldn't really do season six justice at the same time as, as launching the new show. So the bad news is I have decided to pause production of season six of the 21st Century Creative until late summer. Um, I do apologize for the wait, but Rest assured, I am not abandoning the 21st Century Creative. Far from it. I'm very excited about the new season, and I've got a considerable backlog of ideas and guests to share with you. And the new podcast is actually designed to complement the 21st Century Creative because I originally I came up with the idea for both shows at the same time way back in 2016 and they were always intended to work in tandem so what you've really had in the in the words of the poet is um you know you've had half a pair of scissors over the the last few seasons so hopefully with the new show you will feel that what I'm offering you is much more balanced and complete So let me tell you a little bit about the new show, because if you like the 21st Century Creative, I hope very much you will like the new one too. It's called A Mouthful of Air, and in several ways it's the exact opposite of the 21st Century Creative. Unlike the 21st Century Creative, the episodes are relatively short, 20 to 30 minutes instead of an hour or more. Unlike the 21st Century Creative, I'm not releasing it in seasons. I will release new episodes every two weeks for the foreseeable future. So, no more of these long waits for new material from me. And unlike the 21st Century Creative, A Mouthful of Air does not focus on the whole range of art forms and creative industries. 
it focuses exclusively on my own art, which is poetry. So, if you're already a poetry lover, I think you will find a lot to enjoy in A Mouthful of Air. (laughs) And I do realise that poetry is a bit of a minority interest, even among creatives, because many people, probably most people, even professional creators, tend to read just about anything but poetry. Fiction, non-fiction, biography, newspapers, magazines, blogs, graphic novels, and, and so on. But not poetry. And I do understand that some people had a bad experience of poetry at school that put them off. Or they get the impression that modern poetry has become a bit academic, a bit elitist, poets talking to each other in a way that doesn't really mean very much to the rest of us. But the thing is, poetry used to be part of everyone's lives, and it used to matter, way back in history and even into prehistory. When we were a tribe gathered around the fire in the evening, it was the poet, the bard, who would recite poems of heroism and adventure, Humans and gods and monsters, love and loss. And those poems were how we made sense of ourselves and our world. So it struck me that a podcast is the perfect medium to recreate a 21st century version of that original experience, of finding a quiet time in the day and listening to a voice speaking words that conjure images in your mind and feelings in your heart. So, episode one of A Mouthful of Air goes into this story in a lot more depth and explains what I think poetry can add to your life and how the podcast can offer you a a way into poetry that is very different to the way it's taught in a lot of schools. Personally, I've been reading poetry all my life because, to me, It's the most magical, memorable, moving, funny, and entertaining of all the arts. And I appreciate that it's not that way for most people. So on this show, I'm inviting you into my world to experience the pleasure, the joy, and sometimes the consolation that poetry brings me. I will take some of my favourite poems down from the bookshelf and read them to you and talk about what makes them special to me. I'll also be reading some of my own poems and sharing what went into them. And I will introduce you to some of the amazing poets I have met on my own journey as a poet. Several of the first poets who appear on the show were fellow students of mine years ago at the Poetry School and also the City Lit in London. And I remember sitting in those classes hearing people read amazing poem after amazing poem and thinking what an incredible evening of live entertainment I was being treated to, over and above anything I was actually learning from the class. Now, those students are award-winning poets with multiple books and prizes to their name, and I'm delighted that they have accepted my invitation to come on the show and share their poems with you. And they are giving me the most amazing readings and also interviews about the creative process behind their poems. As well as the students, you will hear a little more from and about two of my teachers who you have already heard here on the 21st Century Creative. The first guest poet on the show is Mimi Calvati, who has been teaching and mentoring me for almost 20 years now and who I interviewed back in Season 2 of the 21st Century Creative. So in Episode 3 of A Mouthful of Air, Mimi reads a delightful poem about eggs, of all things. And she has some wise and inspiring things to say about writing in general and sonnets in particular. In Episode 4... I share a story about a breakthrough teaching session I had with Kristin Linklater, the renowned voice teacher who I interviewed all the way back in season one. And and by breakthrough, I mean, of course, terrifying. 
it's also quite a funny story in retrospect. <laughs> now, um, Kristin is sadly no longer with us, having passed away last year. But one of the great things she did was she left a legacy of students and teachers uh, who are continuing her work. And so I, I really hope that A Mouthful of Air can in some small way be my contribution to continuing the spirit of Kristin's work. Okay, at this point, maybe you're curious to check out A Mouthful of Air. Or maybe you're thinking, well, okay, Mark, that all sounds great, but honestly, I'm really interested in more ideas that are going to help me with my own creative work. Fair enough. And rest assured, there's plenty more to come on that front in future seasons of the 21st Century Creative. Plus you may find a mouthful of air surprisingly relevant to your own creative practice. You see, here on the 21st Century Creative, I focus on the things that are common to all the arts and creative disciplines. Motivation, mindset, imagination, working habits, emotional intelligence, communication skills, courage, stubbornness and persistence, and so on. It's also true that, in the words of James Joyce, in the particular is contained the universal. And on a mouthful of air, I get really specific and particular about one art form. I look at individual poems in close-up and consider what went into them and how they work. I talk about craft and I interview poets about their craft and their creative process. And Friends who have heard the first few episodes have told me that they've gained some valuable insights into their own creative practice. So maybe this show could have a similar effect on your creativity and give you some ideas that might make a difference to your work. If so, I would love to hear from you about that. Right, so if I have whetted your curiosity and you would like to check out the new show, where can you find it? Well, actually, in quite a few places. You see, poetry is a multimedia art form. The same poem can live in a listener's ear as well as in a reader's eye. So A Mouthful of Air is a multimedia podcast. Here's where you can get it. Obviously, the first place to go is your favourite podcasting app, whether that's Apple Podcast or Spotify or Google or whatever, and search for A Mouthful of Air. And start with episode one, and I know that sounds blindingly obvious, but it is actually designed as an introduction to the show because it explains more about why poetry matters and what it can offer you, and also how to get the most out of the podcast. You can also read all the poems on the website, a mouthful of air.fm and on Instagram at air poets. That's A I R poets on Instagram. And if you would like me to email you the audio and full transcript, including the poem texts, of every episode of A Mouthful of Air, you can sign up for that at a mouthful of air.fm slash subscribe. And you might find the text version particularly useful because one of the things I'm encouraging you to do on the show is to read the poems out loud to yourself. So if you want to do that, you can always find the poem text in that email or indeed on the website. Now, why would you want to read the poems out loud? Well, if you want to know that, then you'll just have to check out episode one. Okay, I've spent a lot of time working on A Mouthful of Air, and I am absolutely thrilled that today, finally, I get to share it with you. I do hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you back here a little later in 2021 for Season 6 of The 21st Century Creative. In the meantime, please stay safe and stay creative. (laughs) 